Yeah. Life without you been feeling kind of strange. Well, I see that you're doing very well. Ha, you looking very well. I miss the way your perfume smell. I miss the way that you blow up my line just to make sure that I'm feeling well. Good morning, y'all. It is. Hold on, let me fix my camera. Good morning, y'all. It is 11:32. Oh wait, I'm being rude. Welcome back to my channel. I am Keisha Jabri, and today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me because I got a few things to do today and. I'm looking a little bit crazy. So we got to get it together. Let's just go ahead and get started. But before we hop into it, y'all already know what y'all got to do. Y'all got to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and also subscribe to my channel because my cash baby's lit. I'm lit. And if you subscribe, then you can be lit too. And that's on what? That's on period. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get the ball rolling, okay? Okay, so first and foremost, I got to get this freaking bob together because if y'all have been paying attention to my Instagram, you guys know I just left Puerto Rico literally like two days ago. And I did this bob before, and of course it's hot in Puerto Rico, so I sweated it out a little bit. But I have to put it back on because I did not film the intro and the outro of the tutorial video of me actually doing the bob because it was so late that night, and I had a flight to catch early in the morning. I didn't have time to put on like makeup and do all that extra stuff. So um, I just filmed the tutorial and then headed out for vacation. Now I'm back from vacation. I gotta fix it up and do the intro and outro. Got it, got it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. I gotta glue it back down. Um, I really don't even like re-gluing wigs back down. Like I really don't do this ever. If it gets to a point where like it's doing this, I normally just take it off. But you know, business is business. So I gotta do what I'm supposed to do. So I'm just gonna try to pull all the hair back making sure not to put it on my hairline you got to be super careful when you re-gluing the wig back down because it's not that cap right there protecting it anymore well it possibly could be but the way I was sweating in Puerto Rico the cap slid back so I guess while I'm doing this I could tell you guys about Puerto Rico because I did not vlog because I just wanted to enjoy myself um to, you're not saying that I don't enjoy myself when I vlog, but you know, that's the priority when you are on vacation and you're vlogging. Like, that's that's what you know you're focused on mostly. That because you're basically working while on vacation. I just want to not have to worry about it. And yeah, I didn't vlog. So, anyways, Puerto Rico was super cool. I loved it. Um, only thing I will say though is I got bit up by mosquitoes. Like, it was so bad like they're still all over my body i have like 10 different bites all over my body like i'm not even being dramatic and some of them got big like huge like i'm gonna I'm insert a picture because i don't feel like getting up right now <laughs> and moving the camera but y'all when i tell you these bumps got swollen on my leg like i live in georgia we have mosquitoes here but i promise you i've never ever in my life had mosquito bites that got that big i don't know if it was like an allergic reaction or what but it really swole up, like it swole up. Am I saying, did it swell up or did it swell up? Swell up. It swell, it swelled up. It swelled up. Anyways, y'all, it just got really big on my leg and they was itching at first, but then they started to hurt. I just stopped messing with them as much because I didn't want it to get any worse and I didn't know if it was like some type of infection or something. So I just, when I got home, I just put alcohol on it and left it alone. But it still itches from now and then, but I just don't try to touch it as much. And they're literally all over my body. I have some on my back, some on my arm, my leg. I have one on my butt. Like, they went crazy. They literally were going crazy in Puerto Rico. Like, I did not know that mosquitoes was gonna be something I had to freaking worry about. Like, nobody warned me about that at all. But, other than that, Puerto Rico was super fun. I had so much fun. That was my first time going to Puerto Rico. And honestly, I never really had intentions of going to Puerto Rico, but my brother, they, we went for my brother's birthday and that's where he wanted to go. But I'm kind of glad that he chose it because it was such a good spot. Like it wasn't overcrowded. Like I've been to Miami and let me tell you something, it's too many people in Miami. Puerto Rico, it was like the perfect vibe. Like it wasn't that many people. It was like everybody could move around freely. It wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't a lot of people. It just wasn't overcrowded and perfect spot, perfect weather. But I will say this, the stay was very expensive. Like very, very expensive. We had a two bedroom suite back at a hotel because we could not find no Airbnb. I'm going to talk about that too. Because, I mean, 
I just never been able to not find one Airbnb in an area. Like it was so hard to find a freaking Airbnb. So we ended up staying at a hotel. The hotel was so expensive, like so expensive. I've like never spent that much on nothing. Even my even my birthday mansion last year was less than that. Like ain't that crazy? And we had seven bedrooms and everything, and it was in Florida, and it was less than what we paid at this freaking hotel we stayed there for like three days and it was so expensive but it was so nice i'm not gonna lie it was nice we had a beach view and it was just it was nice but it was hella expensive but we ended up having to do that instead because when i tell y'all i could not find one airbnb and i promise y'all i'm the airbnb queen if you need somewhere to stay if you're trying to find somewhere to stay i will go through every single page on airbnb i will type in everything and i'm gonna find us somewhere to stay and i'm gonna find us the best place to stay with the best price but when i tell you guys it was so hard trying to i even got a freaking mosquito bite right here on my face and right here on my face like where is it it's right there anyways could not find one Airbnb because like the quality of their Airbnbs is not nice. Like Puerto Rico Airbnbs, unless I'm get, I don't know if we got like the bottom barrel because all of them were already booked up, but I promise you, every single one was just like so outdated. It looked like you're about to walk into somebody's house. Like somebody lived there and they just like, oh, you can stay here for a couple days. That's literally what they look like on there. And so, couldn't find an Airbnb, so we had to go to the hotel, which was fine because it ended up being really, really nice. And overall, I just had a good time. Like, I went with my family, my sister, my brother, his girlfriend, and his friend, and we had a good time. And yeah, that explains why my freaking bob is sweated out because we had a grand old time. Okay. Whew. It's hot. I feel like I'm always hot when I'm filming. I think it's these lights. Oh, baby, no, that ain't I'm so work. hot. I, I'm finna go change shirts and I'll be right back. This feels a lot better. Anyways, focus, focus, focus. Anyways, what was we talking about? We talked about Puerto Rico, but yeah, I sweated out my bob. It was super humid out there. Like, when we open our doors in the hotel, like, all the mirrors in the house will fog up. That's how humid it was. Like, no joke, it was so humid. It was probably because we was right there on the ocean, but yeah, girl. My bob stood no chance against that humidity, like, no chance. Okay, so now that this bob is glued back down, I don't know how exactly I want to style it because I did a couple different hairstyles when I was in Puerto Rico, and I, I don't know which one I want to do for the intro of the video. I'm just like, I don't know. Should I flat iron it back how I had it? Should I do crimps, like, but like wavy? Should I curl it up? I don't know what I wanna do. Let me go look back at my pictures and see. I think I wanna do some waves again because that's just what I'm feeling. I'm feeling wavy today, so that's what I'm gonna do. But I don't think I'm gonna do it with the crimp iron. I think I'm gonna do it with the flat iron because I don't know. I just don't want like super, I don't want the super crimp look. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it because I think y'all probably like this way better too. Like if you just want like ocean wave look, but you don't want like the super crimp, crunchy look, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and part off my hair. Okay, I'll start with this little area right here by my ear. So what you wanna do is just go ahead and comb it out and then you can put product on your hair if you want, but I really don't want to weigh down this hair any more than it already is. So I'm not going to. So basically all you do is you take your flat iron and then you take it like this and you bend it hard as you can, go down a little bit, flip it, go hard as you can the other way, and then one more time. And if you got room for one more, then one more time. So you end up having like a little wave type of action. And it's going to fall. So don't worry about it. It's going to fall. Okay. I did it wrong. So at the end, I forgot. You're supposed to do it straight. Not flip it again. Anyway, so y'all, while we was in Puerto Rico, we had gotten this Uber and this man was just telling us. I don't even know how we got on the subject. But he was just telling us how like he pays $500 a month like that's his mortgage for his house and he got a three-bedroom house in Puerto Rico and so I'm like dang like 
what I'm paying in Atlanta, what could I have for that? He was like, oh, for what you're paying, you can have a mansion on the beach. I'm like, a mansion on the beach? A mansion on the beach? What? He's like, yes, like we don't pay that much here. Like houses and stuff is not that much here. And I'm just thinking like putting it into perspective, like I could literally be living a whole nother life with my money if I just lived somewhere other than the United States. Like this is crazy. Like people are literally, literally living off of $500 a month. $500 a month? And they got a whole house? Like that's his mortgage. That is his mortgage payment. That is crazy. I could, Bro, if I was paying $500 a month, I could be rich right now. Like, rich. That is crazy. But that just put things into perspective of like how overpriced everything is in America. Like, well, you know, Puerto Rico is still a part of American ter territory, but the way they do things is different. How much they pay for things is different. And that's just crazy. Like, I can't believe that. Like, that is just mind blowing. And it kind of makes me just want to like for one year like move away to somewhere like somewhere different just to live a different life you know i probably could do so much more with my money if i just went somewhere else other than the united states because everything here is so expensive for no reason like i don't understand i don't understand how they even expect people to keep up at this point like with the cost of living it's ridiculous like it's crazy one bedroom apartments is going for like fifteen hundred two thousand dollars right now in the city that's crazy like how do you expect the working class to be able to afford a life like that is ridiculous i wonder like are we gonna hit like a point where they're gonna be forced to lower the cost of living or is it just gonna keep going up i think we should i think we should go on a strike because that's ridiculous I want to have a $500 rent payment. It is just unrealistic, like, and it's not at all the way that it used to be for, like, our parents' generation and stuff. Like, they had it, I'm not going to lie, they had it a little bit easier when it came to, like, money and stuff because stuff was not this high price. It's just crazy. And then you got all of this that's going on on social media. Like, not only do people, are people struggling to keep up, but, like, they feel like they have to have all of these nice things at such a young age. They feel like, oh, my favorite celebrity got this, so I should have it, too. I don't know about y'all, but, like, when I was, when we was little, nobody was expecting to have the same things as the celebrities that was around. Like, okay, for example, like, when the OMG girls was hot and yada, 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 Gucci this, Gucci that. I was not going to ask my mama for no Gucci. I did not, I was not in no rush to feel like I had to go buy some Gucci, but it's just like now in this day of time, like the people that they, the people that the kids are looking up to, they feel like they have to have the same things and it's just unrealistic. Cause how are you about to have the same things as these people? And they are literal million, like they are literal millionaires and people are really trying to keep up with millionaires. It doesn't make sense. Like I will never in my life get that. Like ever, you are a regular person living in a regular town but you want to wear the same gucci shoes that your favorite artist is wearing it's not making sense like it's really not making sense like i don't understand it i don't know what's going on in the world but things are really changing like how people look at things are really changing even like i was just talking to somebody about like you know like beauty standards and how that's gonna affect the next generation because i just feel like it's a lot of people getting work done and nothing is wrong with getting work done i don't even know if one day i might get work done but i think that it's really super harmful for the girls that gotta come after us because it's like they're gonna feel like that's default they're gonna feel like oh this is what i have to do to be beautiful you get what i'm saying even like in raising kids like okay boom if you get your whole body done right now you get a bbl or whatever and you have a daughter you know what i'm saying y'all gonna probably have some type of the same body she's probably gonna have the same body that you went to the surgeon to go get changed and it's just like what do you tell her how do you tell her like this is not what you are supposed to do but mommy did it or do you tell them it's okay? Either way, it's like, I don't like, I don't, I, I really don't know how it's gonna go in this next generation. I'm so interested to see it because 
it, I'm sure it's going to be really confusing for the younger generation to, to grasp this concept of like, like what approach are they really supposed to take about things? Because people are like, okay, if you don't like it, get it changed, whatever. It's your body, do whatever you want to do with your body. And I totally agree with that. But it's also like there are little girls out there and I just feel like that's not always the right way to go about things because how can you tell them if they don't like something and change it? Like just imagine if we knew back then in our ages when we were in school and stuff like you know middle school and we was getting picked on for stuff that oh I could just fix this when I grow up that wasn't an option it's kind of like you had to you had to accept it you know what I'm saying and I feel like in a way that's more healthy you know what I'm saying it's more healthy to accept that I feel like these young girls are growing up and they're gonna want to change everything about themselves they're gonna want to be what they see in the media and it's sad because that's just not realistic it's just not a realistic approach to things and you shouldn't look at yourself of how i want i'm gonna change this and i'm gonna change that i feel like in some instances you should accept you know you for what you are and how you were created you know what i'm saying it is just like it's a slippery slope it's like i don't know i i don't i hope y'all understand what i'm saying i'm really not against surgery like at all i'm not against it at all i might even get surgery myself I don't have any surgeries in mind before y'all even ask in the comments. I don't even know what I could possibly want, but I'm just not closing off the idea at all. But I just want, like, somebody needs to do a study on how this is going to affect the next generation. I think it's going to be bad. Like, I really do think it's going to be, I think it's going to be bad. I'm sorry. I really do. Let me know in the comments how y'all think it's going to affect the next generation. Do y'all think it's going to be fine? It's going to be a generation of my choice my body or is it gonna really mess them up mentally i want y'all to know i want i want y'all opinions in the comments and um i also want y'all to answer okay so if you had surgery how would you approach that with your daughter you know when she gets old enough she's like mommy i want boobs like you like how would you you know approach that conversation and there's like this whole conversation going on on tiktok right now of um you know this girl she had made a tiktok she was like are you mad i'm 13 or are you mad i looked better i look better than you did when you were 13. and <clears throat> like i've had my own experience with this whole conversation this whole grown you know thing but the the whole point of the matter was in my picture i i'm gonna pull it up if if i can find it but i was at school i was in the 11th grade and i had on some fitted pants but of course I, I had body i had hips and stuff um and people were saying like i looked grown but my my argument in my pictures was the fact that is it the fact that i look grown or is it the fact that i have a I, my body is developed and you can't handle the fact that my body is developed so you think i'm looking grown because i didn't i didn't have on nothing wrong you know what i'm saying i wasn't showing no cleavage i wasn't showing no you know i wasn't i wasn't showing anything i, I had a little bit of stomach showing that's only because i had lifted up my arms for the pictures but the actual outfit itself my stomach wasn't showing i couldn't have my stomach showing at school it was only because i had lifted up my arms i think i was fixing my i forgot what i was i think i was holding my glasses and my shirt lifted up a little bit hey y'all i just want to add in the fact that also when that picture was taken i was 16 almost 17 years old and i think that it was very age appropriate for me to have a inch of stomach showing but yeah back to the video but you can barely see any stomach in my pictures either it was just the fact that i feel like in my opinion that that people like over sexualize young girls who bodies are developed more developed than others because if somebody else would have had on that same exact outfit it wouldn't have been a problem at all and then some people were saying oh she got on a wig but that was my job like this that was my job it's my job now and it was my job then you know what i'm saying so back to the tiktok thing this girl on tiktok she was just like um are you mad or whatever that i am 13 or are you mad because i look better than you when you were 13. everybody's going back and forth on this tiktok with this little girl and this 13 year old girl telling her you know you need to slow down and stuff she's like well you know i just had on a normal outfit and you know all of that and then this other person had stitched the video and they was just going she was just talking about basically what i was just talking about so yeah the basically basically the girl was just saying like this is a problem you know preteens feel like they have to come off sexy now 
and it is a problem or whatever and i totally agree that it is a problem and but i've been on both sides of it i've been the one the young girl being judged saying oh she's grown and you know i've been seeing lately that little girls are actually you know trying to be perceived as sexy so it's kind of like a slippery slope i just feel like overall I just think kids should just be kids and worry about being kids. I really hope my cash babies aren't being washed by these, brainwashed by these beauty standards because honestly y'all, if I'm be honest to y'all, beauty standards change every few years. So like if you feed into it now and you do some crazy stuff, you know what I'm saying? In a couple years, you're gonna be looking crazy because it's not gonna be a beauty standard no more. You're gonna be looking absolutely wild because it's just not it anymore. Just like we look back on our old pictures and we like, why did I wear that? But that's what was cool back then, right? It's the same exact concept. I feel as though it's ridiculous and I feel like kids should just not worry about that type of stuff. But unfortunately, social media exists and it's, you know, at all time high, everything is broadcasted. So it's like, you know, some people, some some kids are gonna fall into it, you know, but I hope that y'all just try to keep your head on straight. Don't let it ruin your self-esteem because you can't look like the next person. Don't let it ruin your self-esteem because you don't have what the next person have. If I just have one advice for y'all, just don't even feed into it. Like, just, just don't. Be yourself, do what you wanna do, do what you like. Look how you wanna look. If anything that's gonna make you happier than, you know, trying to be what everybody else is trying to be what's in the media because girl it's gonna be gone in a couple months and you're gonna be looking like why did I ever do that I'm not gonna lie I went through that phase of trying to look like somebody else but I went through it very young I didn't it wasn't in like high school or you know late middle school it was like more so early middle school and like late elementary school like I wanted to look like my friends but it was more so because they was bullying me that's number one they would like talk about certain things they're like why why do you do this like this or you know what i'm saying stuff like that and i used to feel some type of way i'm like okay am i doing this wrong like is this not how it's supposed to be done but i was just doing things the way that i wanted them to be done and luckily i grew out of it and i feel like that's what really made me stick out the most like in school and stuff like that that's what really like set me apart from a lot of people was because i did what i wanted to do i wasn't trying to look like nobody else i wasn't trying to be like nobody else i didn't i didn't want to be like nobody else i was just me like i was just me and i didn't care what nobody had to say about it if i wanted to wear a big behind tutu to school i was gonna wear a big behind tutu to school if i wanted to wear a crazy outfit to school i was gonna wear a crazy outfit to school if i wanted to put on makeup and do my hair and walk into school i was gonna do that i didn't care if somebody was gonna say to me oh you what you think this is a beauty sweetie my dog is so bad y'all but yeah i didn't care if when like people used to question the hell out of me like why did you put that on that don't match with that this don't go with that why you wearing your hair like that why you doing this why you doing that why you doing this why you like that why you do this why you like that guess what all of them all of those people who you say stuff like that guess what in my dms trying to be friends trying to do this trying to do that trying trying to be the look that i've been giving <laughs> trying to be that but you know what that's why you just be yourself and you just do what you do and that's gonna take you the furthest because you don't gotta worry about looking like the next person you don't gotta worry about being the next person you don't gotta worry about none of that just worry about yourself you'll be so glad that you did not conform to what they wanted you to be you will be so happy in the end because i'm so happy that i did not let you know people opinions and stuff affect how i looked at myself or you know let it change the way that i moved or felt about myself and my self-esteem like i've learned to never ever ever let that deter um me away from myself how somebody else feel about me and that's just the lesson in all of this just be yourself be you do what you want to do and try to think like subconsciously sometimes i try to think about things like do i want to do this because i saw it be done do i want to do this because it's cool right now do i want to do this because somebody else want me to do this or do i want to do this because i want to do this and that's how i try to look at things because sometimes we do it subconsciously it's just like it's just like oh you walk to a store you choose a shirt but you you're not even noticing you chose this shirt because you saw somebody on instagram with this shirt on earlier you know what i'm saying so it's like subconsciously so just try to ask yourself before you do things like why am i doing this is it because i want to do it is it because i like it or is it because 
of some other influence. Try that. Let me know how that works out for y'all. And yeah, but we gonna move on to the next top. I think my hair is super cute, but there's like this white cast around my um, hairline because of where I had to re-glue it back down. It's probably just having a reaction with um, the old glue and the new glue. Bro, stuff is always spilling in my freaking product bag. I got the, I got like this big bag of like all my products because that's just the easiest way to um, have it all together. And the stuff is always spilling. I'm just like, how? Everything in this, everything in the bag is closed up, but somehow it always, something always end up getting out. I'm just gonna press some of this liquid mousse stuff on my hairline to get rid of that white cast. I'm gonna tie it down. Okay, so now we can go ahead and get started on the makeup. I'm not really sure what look I wanna go for today because my outfit is kind of, it's like, it's pink, it's glittery, it's rhinestone-y. And so, I don't really know what you are ethnically. I'm sorry, that just came out naturally. But, um, I don't really know what makeup look I wanna do today because it's just like, I could do something fun, I could do some colors. I ain't really got no colorful palettes though to be trying to even do all that, if I'm gonna be honest. So I'm probably just gonna have to do the regular degla schmegla hegla. So, normally I would moisturize first, but I dried out my freaking moisturizer by leaving the top off of it. So I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna go ahead and just prime. This is not gonna be an, a tutorial, but I will list all the products that I use in my description box, just in case you guys were wondering. But I got a couple of things I need to do today. Um, this was one of them. I needed to redo the bob, of course, for the video concept to finish the video. And then I need to take pictures for Instagram. I actually got content for Instagram, but for some reason, you know how you look at a, um, a picture for too long and it just starts looking distorted and ugly? Yeah, that's what's happening. And I got these, it's like they're cute. They're from vacation, they're from Puerto Rico, the pictures I took from Puerto Rico. And it's like, at first I was looking at them and I was like, ooh, these it. And then the more I started looking, I'm like, okay, I don't think I wanna post these. So it's like I got content for Instagram, but it's like I don't have content for Instagram. So I'm just gonna take some more pictures today and hopefully these come out better and I don't look at them for too long and be like, ew. Um, I think I'm running out of this stuff. Never thought I'd see the day. It still look like a full bottle. Like nothing looks like, I don't know why I was doing that though. I got um I got a film, I gotta take pictures for Instagram and then I'm so freaking behind on editing videos. Like y'all probably think, oh my God, Kasha does not care about YouTube. I promise you y'all I be filming. It's just the fact that like when it becomes time to edit all of these videos, like I have a lot of, com like filming is the easy part. Editing is kind of the part that I dread. So it's like I be having a lot of content already filmed, but when it comes to editing, I kind of get like stuck. I'm a slow editor if I'm not gonna lie. Like I, it takes probably like in between four to seven hours for me to edit one video. Yeah, it takes that long. When I film like two videos and then like, I be like, uh, this is gonna take me an entire day to edit these videos. I kind of get like in this stuck mode because it's like, I want to do it. I want to get it done, but it's like, my mind is like not ready for me to do it, if that makes sense. So it's just like, I be like, oh, it's, it's, it just be hard for my mind to process the fact that I'm about to sit at a computer for a day or two days for more than 10 hours. And before y'all even suggest me getting an editor, why does my camera look so light? Or am I tripping? Before y'all suggest me getting an editor, I've already tried to get an editor. Um, I actually have people trying to edit my videos all the time and I actually tried it. And in my opinion, it's just like, if I'm just gonna critique every little thing, I might as well do it myself. You know what I'm saying? Because in me having my YouTube channel, it's like I have a certain way that I do things and it's a certain, you know, with my videos, I have a certain type of editing form. Everybody does, everybody has their way of editing. And it's just like, if I'm gonna have to explain that to somebody every single time, um, what I want, and then, you know, they send a the video back to me and I have to critique, to, critique them on what they need to change, it's just like, why? Why, 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 why? I could just do it myself. And so, 
yeah I tried it and then you know I ended up doing exactly what I just said where I'm just telling them you need to change this this and that I don't like this and then they sent it back and I'm like okay now you need to change this this and that and it's just like aggravated I can just do it myself it's just more so about discipline and time management if anything I'm sorry if I'm looking off I'm digging in my makeup bag trying to look for my brushy but yeah I just really just need to work on time management and um I think that'll help me a lot because it will not make it feel like I have so much to do all the time because if I manage my time correctly then it would be easier to do things and get things done and feel like I still have you know like if I say for example if I'm like okay I need to do I can edit two hours today I could edit two hours tomorrow it doesn't feel like such a big clutter but when I wait and wait and wait and now the video is due for example or I told y'all that I was going to post a video on this day and now I'm having to edit all in one day. It feels overwhelming. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like once I work on my time management, things will get a lot better. And I have been. I really have been working on it. And, you know, I feel like that's just probably like my biggest issue when it comes to, you know, YouTube and doing all my stuff and content and stuff like that. It's like I can do it all by myself. But, you know, I have to be more organized and I have to manage my time better. And, yeah. So that's just what, you know, be going on. Oh, I just love the way this setting spray make my face look. It is the, before y'all even ask, it's the Soft Focus Hourglass Spray. It's like $50, but I promise y'all, that bottle lasts me months, like months. When I used to use this one right here, this is like everybody's favorite go-to girl. And I love this one too, but I always have to buy this like every other week. No, this bottle lasts months. So, I mean, it's just basically investing like do you want to keep going to the store or do you want to get something that's gonna look good you got to pay a little bit money up front but you know it's gonna last you so um what else did i want to get done today i also want to clean up my house my house not dirty but um i do want to like have it like spotless in here you know that's a really good feeling when you wake up to a clean house it's just be like oh i can conquer the world but yeah i want to do that but if i don't get around to it i'm gonna try to prioritize work today so if i don't get around to it i'll just do it tomorrow um and that's no problem that is literally no problem i don't have nobody to impress at my own house so it can wait <laughs> but yeah this freaking mosquito bite up here itch but i'm not gonna scratch it i'm not gonna scratch it I'm finna just continue to blend this out because I can't really talk when I blend out my concealer because I gotta make my certain faces that help me blend it out. So I'm gonna do that and then we can talk. blending and I can finally talk so y'all I'm gonna go on another vacation y'all probably like girl you just a moving but I am about to go to Florida with my family it's gonna be like a little family vacation but yeah I'm going on a, va a family vacation next 
next week for the 4th of July and yeah it should be fun I'm about to go to Florida y'all already know I love me some Florida well y'all probably don't know but I do love me some Florida I go there practically every year for my birthday so that should just show y'all how much I really love me some Florida but I'm excited to go to like the water parks and stuff because I haven't done anything like that in a minute like I haven't been to any like I haven't been to Six Flags in like two years I haven't been to Disney World in like it's been a long time. It, it's been some years. It's been longer than two years since I've been to Disney World. It's been a while. I haven't been to Universal or any of those in a minute, like some years. So I'm super excited to go. All, the, all my little cousins are gonna be there. My nephew gonna be there. It's just gonna be so much fun. And I can't wait. That's next week, that's coming up. So I gotta start shopping for it because if I'm being around family, like I can't be having on my little hoochie mama outfits. I gotta have on presentable clothes. So I gotta go shopping for presentable freaking clothes. <laughs> I'm just kidding y'all. I don't have a problem with, um, you know, code switching here and there when I have to, when it's necessary. But yeah, I definitely do gotta go shopping. I might even bring y'all on along with me if I go like to the mall or something um to shop for the trip because i need like you know appropriate bathing suits and things that are just not g-strings you know so i gotta go get all of that so i might do a vlog one of these days this week um shopping and i think y'all probably enjoy that let me know in the comments if y'all want to see that but yeah i'm excited i think i'm gonna fly like my family we live in georgia so like a lot of them are probably just gonna drive but i don't feel like driving and Zay is not going so I'm definitely not gonna drive normally he drives us to Florida whenever we go but me it's just not happening I'm just not doing it so yeah I'll probably just fly so I, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog this trip I really don't know I haven't decided yet because I didn't vlog Puerto Rico so I'm like should I vlog this one I haven't decided yet so I'll let you guys know if I am or if I'm not I'll let y'all know probably on my Instagram. If y'all don't already follow me, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram, Kesha Jabri. I just did a cool little game on my story. Post a picture of a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all participated, but if you did, I get to participate. I will be doing more things like that. Um, but yeah, my story views like went up yesterday. It was like 30k. Let me see how many I got right now. I have I'm at 32k right now so clearly y'all are really enjoying this game that I'm playing on my Instagram so make sure y'all go follow me so you don't be feeling left out when I get to talking about you know the stuff me and my people on Instagram be having going on so yeah yo mm -hmm. okay let me finish because I feel like I've been sitting here for a long time put the same color I just put on my cheeks or my eyes just to keep everything looking you know cohesive is that the right word I think so if it's not don't at me in the comments okay but I think that's the right word I'm just gonna try to keep everything the same in the same color palette because it just makes your face look so much better when everything is just blending and it makes sense I got a freaking mosquito bite on my neck too. Okay, I think I'm gonna put on some lashes. I have eyelash extensions, but I've been pulling them out, okay? I've been pulling them out like I always do. And um, I'm about to have to put on some eyelashes because, I mean, they don't look bad, but it's like I can't really pump them up. I can't put on mascara or nothing like that. So it's like the only option is to put on some lashes, so that's what i'm gonna do or please assist me in putting on these lashes please don't let them be lopsided just let them be what they supposed to be lord i'm gonna let it dry and then i'm gonna press it together with my extensions 
and I think that's gonna make it look better. I'm just gonna move on to the next lash. Okay, so now we can go ahead and dust off this powder. Zay been getting his hair braided for a little minute. Let me see where the hell he at. I'm just making sure. Felt like it had been a little minute. So like what? I said it felt like it had been a little minute. Oh no. Yeah, I just Okay, so we're finally done. I'm gonna take off this scarf. Oh, I got makeup on my hand. Wait. Reverse. Take off this scarf. And it oh it definitely did help the white cast, but it stuck to some glue. I gotta wait for this setting spray to tone down on my face. I wish I had like a little powder puff thing. I don't have one of those. But the next thing we're gonna do is the lips. Y'all already know I go crazy on the lips, but it's the same old, same old brown lip liner brown lip liner and then we're gonna throw some nyx butter gloss on top this is the color bit of honey it's like literally the same as that color as my natural lips Now we're gonna throw in some blush and then we probably gonna be done. I think that's gonna be all that I do for this look. I'm really tired of sitting here doing my freaking makeup. I really just wanna be done with it. Like, I just wanna be done. Put on me some blush, get that all up in there. I love blush, like, some of that on my forehead, nose, chin. Boom. Now I gotta blend like the hairline part because I did have on a scarf. So, to blend that back. Ow, that mosquito bite. Okay, I think I'm done y'all. I think I'm done with the hair and the makeup. Um, let me look at myself, see if I'm missing something. I'm missing a nose ring and I'm missing bottom mascara. That's what I'm missing. And then boom. I'm done. Now I just gotta put on my outfit and do all of that. But before we even get into that part of this video, I'm gonna go have me a snack because I'm hungry. I have not ate breakfast. I have not ate nothing. It is now one o'clock. I started this video at like 11 something. So I literally have not had nothing to eat. So I'm gonna go do that and I'm gonna come back. <laughs> Okay, so this is the outfit of choice today. This is a guest shirt. I got this from Puerto Rico. This is a skirt from my collection, my company, but it's unreleased. And I haven't decided whether I wanna put on these heels, these heels, or these sneakers, because it's like, I don't know. Like, I can't, I don't know. I don't know which one I wanna do. I think I'm gonna try on all of them, and then we gonna choose one, and then we're gonna start taking pictures. Okay, don't mind my beauty room, but this is the shoe that I chose. These cute little heels. And it's also a jacket to go with this. I think I'm just gonna put it over my shoulders for the pictures, cause it's kinda hot outside, and it's not really in season, so. Yep, that's the fit. This the fit, girl. I can't even move in this skirt.
that's a wrap. I got my pictures. They came out so cute. I'm gonna show y'all how they look. But probably by the time this video come out, y'all probably already saw them. But they're so freaking cute. Look. So cute so cute but yep this is the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please do not forget to thumbs this video up and also comment down below and tell me what you guys want to see next and also subscribe to my channel because my cash baby's lit i'm lit and if you subscribe then you can relate to it that's on what that's on period so i'll see you guys in the next video bye